Okay, a bunch of people have been asking me about the controllability of these uh, ATI power modules. So I'll do a little little video here of how they are. So what you see right now is my top setting. That's with all the uh, all the T5s on and the LEDs at kind of a a pretty blue and white spectrum. Uh, nothing too crazy. But what I'm going to do is turn off each thing so you can get an idea of what it'll all look like. So with nothing on, obviously it's nothing. T5 channel 1 is the first one that'll come on uh, when you do the T5s. And here's T5 channel 2 with it. So this would be your standard uh, you know dimmable T5 uh, 8 bulb fixture. Nothing special. There's no shimmer, just solid lighting for the corals, nice and even. Now, uh, this does ramp up uh, from 0% all the way to 100. Uh, the cool thing about these is the LED modules. Now, you can change these to almost any spectrum you want. For example, obviously they're individually controllable, but say if I wanted this one to be a majority blue spectrum, I just click that button and that's what it becomes. If I don't like how blue it is, so here's another example. So the one that I use is this one. I turned down the red and turned up the white. So for example, if I wanted it to be a little more 20K-ish, I can turn down the white and make it more of whatever color I prefer. Say I wanted more white, I can just turn it back up again. If I wanted less blue, I can do that. So whatever spectrum I want. If I wanted more red, I can do that. Right? But the cool thing about it, like I say, is if you wanted a different color on one side than the other, you could do that. So like if I want to go back to blue on one side, I just change it back. If you wanted 100% white on parts, you could do that. It's a pretty significant difference. But then, same concept, if I was to turn the, the T5s back on again, and I wanted it to be a little more blue, that's when you can tweak the LEDs to get a different color out of it. So if I turn the white all the way off on the LEDs, you can get a pretty blue, blue purple look if you want that. Or for me, I prefer a little bit more of a 12K look, or maybe even a maybe in a, a 14K is probably closer to what I really do. Then I turn up those whites, not to 100%, but you know, about 70% up, and that's the color that I'll get out of it. So what mine currently do at about 7 in the morning the tank will look like this as it goes throughout the day it'll ramp up those blues So this is about 8.30 and then uh, 9 o'clock here comes 9.30 we're going to start adding in 
some whites and the red on the LED. This is still only LED, no, uh, no T5 yet. The LEDs are changing spectrum into a uh, more of a 14K as it goes. The T5s come on. They ramp up to 100%. And then the second channel of T5s comes on. And it ramps up as well. The LEDs just went up to their uh, daytime. They're ramping up all the way. I have them going to about, about 70%. So now that the T5s are 100% and the LEDs are now probably around 60. And there's my typical highest point. And it'll do the exact opposite later on in the day. So if I skip ahead to when it starts ramping down here. So I'm at about, let's see, 1900 hours, so what is that, 7 o'clock? The, uh, the LEDs are beginning to ramp down and go back to that, <clears throat> go back to that uh, Blue Plus Aqua Food special look. Uh, sometimes the preview doesn't show it very well. Alright, and then the T5s are going to start ramping down here in a second. Channel 1 first. There they go. And then channel 2 is going to start ramping down. Channel 1 turns off. Channel 2 turns off. And then it's LEDs. They begin ramping down into my uh, all blue spectrum for the end of the night. And that's all she wrote.